Trivia Book Mastery Review. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button. So today I am actually reviewing Trivia Book Mastery by Ken Bluntman, which comes out on the 25th of March 2021 at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the launch price ends on the 29th of March at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There is one front end sale of $37 and an inline up sale that is $9.99, and that is for thousands of trivia facts and fun facts that you can download and actually be using with this software to create your own books. So Ken Bluntman is well known in the KDP Low content community for actually creating different software for puzzle books, for kids puzzle books, for art, activity, mastery puzzle books. His software is pretty good. He supports it. He makes a lot of the software himself as he is a software developer. So this is his latest launch and it is all about creating trivia books or fun fact books, which are really hard. They sell really well all year round. They're an evergreen market. Yes, they have the peaks and troughs, but they tend to be selling all the year through. So this is the sales page. So it says the trivia book market makes crazy money and you might be missing out. So it's all about how to actually use this easy software. I am going to go into the dashboard and actually show you the software. I'm also going to go onto Amazon and show you different books. No writing skills required. Um, you can download, you can get hold of the thousand downloadable text. If you don't want to do that, you can go and do the search yourself on internet or you can outsource that using Fiverr or Upwork or Freelancer, different places like that. No tech skills needed, no website needed, no previous experience needed. And this works on both Macs, Windows, and if you're using Linux, it, it's there as well because it is um, web-based. So these are the different books that it's showing you about. And I'll leave a link in the description for you to actually see the sales page, read it through yourself. It covers quiz tri trivia, simple trivia, and fun facts. You can change the choice of fonts. It does... Um, compile out as PDFs, but you can use different software to actually put those PDFs together and also edit them and put different pictures with them if that's what you want to do if you're aiming for children's market. So let's have a look and go on to Amazon. So in Amazon, I actually put fun fact books for kids. There is over 7,000, but then you can break that down. So it can be fun facts for kids about sport, fun facts about uh, certain animals, different things. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of books doing really well. Now, there are two here just on this first fold that are both independently published. So they are KDP published, but look at the fantastic covers as well. So this one was published in 2020 and it has a BSR rank of 33,000. And this one here, again, was published in November 2020, about the same time. And this has a BSR rank of 14,322. And there's not a lot of pages there, 144 pages. So this is making probably nearly $3 a book sale. And this one here, 124. So this is probably making nearer the $4 a book sale. So they are making quite a lot of money. There's a lot of National Geographic books that sell really well, awesome facts. So it's something similar that you're aiming for. Remember, never copy, emulate, never copy. It's not fair on the people that have created these in the first place. You need to be creating your own. So again, like I say, the sales is really good. Then I also went on here and did a just a trivia book. Now there's over 10,000, but again, you can be niching down. So the best trivia books, and you can see that the sales ranks are really, really good, really low as well. Like this one here, over just over 5,000 trivia book one. This again, independently published. This was published back in 2018, and it is still making great sales and has got quite a high sales uh, but got lots of reviews so it is doing really well so then i went down and did pub quiz books now pub quiz books don't seem to be selling very well in the states they have still got lowish bsrs there's one there for 151 thousand. but remember amazon is an international market so i went and did 
pub quiz books in the UK. And here we are at a lot lower BSRs, good sales ranks here. So a lot of these books are not just selling in the States, they're also selling in the UK and no doubt they'll be selling in other countries. And a great thing as well about a lot of these um, trivia books is they're not just paperback, you can also do the Kindle ebook version so you can be making two streams of income on this so it's not just your typical KDP low content books that can only be paperback. So I decided to go and have a look inside one of these. So the Whopping Great Pub Quiz Book. Now this one is more like a simple trivia because it gives you just um, one option one answer so what they've done here is they've done 10 different questions and then they've put the answer key but not the answer key to those questions they put the answer key to other questions within the book so they're actually reducing the space down which i thought was really a good idea and then somebody else has done the same here so they've done like quiz one and then quiz 99, quiz 2, quiz 100, and then at quiz 3, you're back down to quiz 1, which I thought was really good. So they they are what's called simple trivia. So let's go and have a look at the software. So this is inside Trivia Book Mastery, and I did actually purchase this on an early bird sale. It is not a JV access. This is actually my own purchase uh, products because I like a lot of Ken's stuff. So it's all the training and features are down this side. So he actually does a video on the market overview. Then he actually does a training video for each one of these trivia. So the trivia one does a question and four answers and uh, four possible answers and then the actual answer as well and there are some system supplied trivia and you can upload your own and I'll show you what to do to upload your own so here you go to upload your own and I'll show you what I've done and then you can also manage your tri uh, trivia so if you upload different questions and you've got duplicate questions in there you can actually come in and delete them then the simple trivia again there's a video showing you exactly what to do in this case, it's only one question, one option. So it's you're not actually giving them an option to choose. It's not multiple choice. It is actually a question and they need to give the answer. So you're not like, what is the currency of Poland? You know, so the euro. Who is the president of Germany? I don't know who the president is, but I know the chancellor's Angela Merkel. So um, all the different questions can be there. And then there's a fun facts one as well, which is great if you're doing this for kids, if you're aiming, or even adults, you know, fun facts that are great to know, but useless, you know, great for when you're at a quiz or something like that. So Marie Curie's 100-year-old belongings are still radioactive. That's quite worrying. Uh, one single teaspoon of honey represents the life work of 12 bees. So they're all different things that you think, well, where did that come from? but you know them because you've probably read them on the internet or in a fun facts book. So he also goes through a video uh, teaching you how to actually merge everything, put the KDP templates in, how to create uh, covers. So you're not just left on your own thinking, well, how do I put everything together? It is all there. And he does have a Facebook group as well that you can go join in and ask questions. He's very active in there. He supports and he'll help answer and so what other people in the group and then he's also talks about where to find your trivia from what websites to use as well as how to outsource your work if that's what you want to do so let's go back to trivia here and we'll upload one that I made so now I'm using a Mac and it is a text file so I have actually used um text edit and for text edit in a Mac if you just go to make a rich text file it'll actually do a txt file for you so that is fine so as you can see i've typed out a question how many soccer players should each team have now i've got a question mark and you should actually have a comma straight after that and then i've given the um, amount and then at the end i've done a comma and also put the answer and the same with this so when was wimbledon championship first held i've given four options and given the answer at the end and the same with the iPhone, given four options and the answer in the end. So what I can do is I can just choose a file there 
can then click on this when it wakes up, open, and then upload that trivia. And then it'll say I have three uploaded questions. So I can also use the, the supplied trivia and go up to 100. Or I can, and you can change this, you can change it up or down. And then you can also use only your ones, or you can use a bit of both. So we could do a bit of both, and I could just do it for 20. So I've got three in there. So hopefully it should bring in my questions, and then I can click trivia, and it's a PDF. And there are his questions as well. So I'm just going to see if any of mine have come through. 16 or 17. No, none of mine. But it is a database, so it does change different questions. So I'm going to go back and just show you my three. So my upload there, create trivia. Click OK. And then it should have brought them in. So how many soccer players should each team have? Uh, what year was the first model and what year was and as you can see the answers the questions are not in the exact same order that i typed them in which is really good as well so if you were going to do a theme then i would upload the theme questions once and then do that and then upload another theme and then do that and do it that way and you can go in and actually remove your questions so if we go back here it should manage my trivia you can actually go in and delete what you've already uploaded if you're doing themes which i think is quite a good idea so so if you want to grab your own copy of trivia book mastery the link will be down in the description like i say it's on sale between the 25th of march 2020 at 10 a.m eastern standard time until the 29th of march um, 8 p.m eastern standard time then no doubt the price will be going up but to start with, it's thirty-seven dollars and nine ninety-nine. If you want to get a um, thousand trivia questions, fun facts, things like that, that you can actually be using to create your books and get started straight away. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with a little bit above my head. Also, while you're at it, check out my video on how to create free word search puzzles. And also check out my video about creating copy this picture.